Hello, everyone. It's Gooey. I... I just woke up. So good morning. If you're watching this in the morning. We are back at it again. Uh, with some more Legend of Zelda. And gonna be answering some questions. Please feel free to leave more Q&A questions in the comments below. And I can also use this to give a little updates. So, we just had, a uh, Our very first episode of our Minish Cap season release. I'm pretty happy with it. It seems to be getting a fairly good response, so thanks to everyone for watching that. Um, we have not, like I said previously, we're gonna be kind of just doing these, oh yeah, as we go. So, you know, I don't know when for sure the next one's gonna come out. Um, so hopefully this will tide people over. Basically, um, I'm recording this kind of shortly after the episode comes out. I don't even know when I'll release this. I guess it probably won't take too long. But I like to space things out to, you know, tide people over. But um, we're going to be recording the next one soon, I believe. Oh my goodness, fairies galore. Want those sword beams back. Um, so yeah, in the meantime, in the meantime, we'll probably, uh, we'll have that recorded, but then we got coming up the, uh, the Zelda Dungeon Marathon in, uh, mid-July, which, uh, I'll be attending. It's just kind of like a week... You know, it's like a week away from normal life and stuff, so don't really get a lot of time to, uh, you know, work on projects and things like that, so. Oh, you know what, can I, no, I can go this way. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know when it's gonna come out, but it, it won't be too long. It was, it was fairly easy to put together. Um, you know, the hardest part about that Minish Cap video was just a little, uh, intro part of it. Okay. Before we continue, here's the next thing I gotta do. You know, in the first couple episodes, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to make excuses or anything. Um, I was definitely, I'm definitely playing a little less, uh, serious here. Oh my gosh, guy. This is our first Lionel we're encounter counting, and I always thought this is a cool setting, you know. Up at the top, there's this waterfall, you climb the steps. There's this lake here, and you got a Lionel guarding a cave. So cool. Um, oh, perfect. But, you know, I was... I... One thing I noticed was... Look at this. Look at that. We're in good shape now for level 3. So, yeah, one thing I noticed was, like... I, I realized it later was... Oh, gosh. The Gorias... They were, you know, they're hitting, they hit hard, and they're, they don't hit hard, but what was happening, actually, was, uh, oh, shoot, they, they take, like, an extra hit. Oh, oh, we're in the Lost Hills, dang it. There's only one way out of here, isn't there? Okay, okay, fine. We gotta go, this is what I was thinking of earlier. So, yeah, I was... I was hacking away at those Gorias, and I'm so used to having the sword earlier on that I'm expecting, I think, two hits to kill him or something, and it was three. So I kept taking all this damage because, you know, I was expecting them to be dead, and I'm just pressing on, and nope, oh, nope. They're, they're still alive, you know, so. Um, yeah, no. We're gonna be, we're gonna be okay now, though. I'm wondering if I should get, uh, I should get, I should just prepare and get, like, potions and stuff. Um, plus I, I haven't answered any questions, so everyone can kind of see, everyone can kind of see more of the game. I'm not doing this, I haven't been doing this, obviously, in, like, the, uh, super cool, alt, um, optimal speedrunning route. We've just been kind of taking it easy. Now I'm just walking into the guys, because I got... A newfound sense of confidence. 
But yeah, let's go. I'll, I'll show you some other secret stuff. And we'll get into answering some questions. And yeah, it'll be cool. So, let me... I'll, um, I'll get my first question up. Just up here. Ow. Come on. There's a secret here. Look at that. Look at that. What is within? Oh, -ho. it is a secret to everybody. That's a hundred rupees right there. How about that? Um, so yeah, let's, let me pull up a question while I go get some more goodies. Um, first question I got, it's from Andy. Good old Andy Spiteri. Uh, how many dungeons is too many in a Zelda game? Is there even such a thing? You know, I think it really, it really depends on the game, you know? Like, there's some games that just have a ton I think one of my favorite, A Link to the Past is one I love, and it, money-making game. Should we play it? Let's play a round of money-making game. Hmm. Left is... Oh, <laughs> oh, all right. That feels good. Um, so yeah, in A Link to the Past, there's like a ton, but I feel like, um, you know, it's it's very it's very gradual. Um, it's the same in Ocarina of Time. Like the first, the f child dungeons. I'm not fighting these guys. They're all the the, f the child dungeons and the light world dungeons in A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time. Here we go. Will do. I've got a lot of stuff now. We're we're in good shape. We're in good shape. Um, so, all those, those dungeons are fairly simple, and it's kind of a gradual progression in difficulty, but I would say I really appreciate that. I, I like some of the different things going on in each dungeon individually, and they kind of teach you about different things. I, um, you know, the, like... And the, especially the Ocarina of Time dungeons, they have very different, um, what do you, what do you want to say? Like, themes and stuff like that. In the Link to the Past one, I think about East, like, Eastern Palace is, uh, is like a fairly, like, straightforward, linear dungeon. Um, and it's got basic things like stepping on switches and, and stuff like that is sort of the, I guess you could say, puzzle. But, um, then you got Desert Palace, which is a little bit more of a, there's, there's a somewhat of a non-linear aspect to it. It's a little bit more, like, open appearance, I guess. Uh, jeez, these guys are rocking me because I'm too focused on this fairy. Come here, fairy. Oh. Alright, this is dumb. Let's just keep moving. <laughs> um, so... And then by the time, and then Tower of Hera has a unique thing going on too, actually, where, um, you know, some of those bushes are suspicious. I don't know. We'll just keep going. Tower of Hera is—it's got that whole like, uh, falling from a higher level type thing, and you know, they—they all have kind of a unique thing going to it, and then. In, in both of those games, Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past, when you get to the adult dungeons, it mostly kicks up a notch and, like, you get really, really more diverse, um, themes and gimmicks and, and whatnot, and, uh, you know, I, I kind of think that's cool. The games have, both have a lot of dungeons, and they kind of take their time, uh, build, building up to something, you know? Um, then there, you know, then there's other games where it feels like, I don't know, there, there are some games where there are less dungeons, like, uh, I love, I love Majora's Mask. I know some people don't like dungeons, so that's fine. But for me, here's the old woman. We gotta show her 
this. Hey, let's get some medicine. Majora's Mask, um, you know, sure there maybe could be more dungeons in the game, but uh, overall, I think Woodfall's okay, but, you know, I think uh, that uh, some of the other dungeons in there are basically all some of my favorite in the series. I know, like, one of these bush burns, right? Oh. Oh my gosh, come here. We can go back up to the secret shop and buy the meat while we're here. So, you know, I can... A, a specific number isn't really the answer, you know. Um, there's some games that I feel like leave me wanting more a little bit, you know. And not that that's a bad thing, but there's some games where I feel like... I think that's something we said about... The Wind Waker, where it was like, it felt like something was missing, if that makes sense, you know? So, I don't know, I don't know if there's, I guess there's, there's usually too little. Like, even, even in the good example I gave of Majora's Mask, it does kind of feel like, yeah, maybe there, there could have been something more, you know? Um, and too much, I've never, I, I guess if I'm using A Link to the Past or Ocarina of Time is examples of games with the most, you know, I haven't played a game where I felt like, man, there's too many dungeons in this. Now we're... Now we're playing with power here. Um... So yeah, I... I don't know, it's... It's not a specific number, for sure. We've got yet another secret to grab here. It's a secret to everybody. Then we're going to be heading into Dungeon 3, but let's pull up... Great question, Andy. Um... Okay, so... Okay, and I, I'm going to preface this with... I'm, I'm going to still try and... Especially since we're playing the first Legend of Zelda, I'm going to try not to spoil Tears of the Kingdom, <laughs> I guess. But, uh, you know, some questions talk about it. But we're not going to get, you know, super into it, but... Um, so, AC Variety Show asks, Some people are disappointed with the dungeons in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. What do you think about the dungeons in those games? Um, which, you know, we're kind of, we're not there yet in the Dungeon Dive series, so we'll see, but, um, you know, some of the I ideas of, uh, people, people dog on the Divine Beasts, um, and I, and I feel like, um, they're very similar in Tears of the Kingdom, the dungeons, in a lot of ways. Um, they change things up for sure, but I guess my, I, I'm just going to give a general statement because we're obviously going to get into those more way down the line. And here we are in level three, but, uh. How I feel, I guess, is that there's definitely cool ideas in almost all of them, uh, and that I feel like, and then there's some that are actually great, which is, you know, kind of like a lot of a lot of Zelda games have some great dungeons and some not so great ones, though they have different batting averages, I guess you could say. And, yeah, to me, I think with those games, I still feel like there's, it's, it's got that thing of we were talking about in the last, uh, question, where it's like, something, to me, is still missing. Um, like, I feel like they have yet to, f like, it's a really cool idea, some of those dungeons, but I, I feel like they've really not cracked the code yet, <laughs> if that makes sense, so... Um, I'm not, I'm not opposed to their, uh, existence, but, look at these are our first Dark Nuts and we're just handling them. <laughs> I'm not opposed to these dungeons' existence, um, there's some great ones too, some good ideas, but 
I feel like there is still more this new style of Zelda can can improve upon them you know I, I I do actually really like these new style of Zelda games the 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 breath of the wild tears of the kingdom open air games but yeah I do feel like there's there's more that can be done um, so yeah now we got to take out these dark nuts which aren't too bad so the trick with these guys is to hit them like as they're walking in front of you. Sometimes they turn into you, though, which stinks, but, you know, you can't hit them front, like, face first, but you can hit them from the sides and the back, so. Level three, now, I'm, I'm kind of going off of memory here. Do I just go down, actually? I might just go down. Uh, I'm gonna try to get a bunch of show off most of the dungeon, but I, I sort of have a thing where I um, try to do the bare minimum in these games because from like not you know trying to speed run or whatever you want to call it. Um, next question. Fierce DD five seven three four asks, "What are your thoughts on couch co-op slash online multiplayer in the series?" Would you like to see a remake of Four Swords, Four Swords Adventures, and Triforce Heroes on the Switch? Um, yeah, we're going the right way. Look at this room. Yeah, I, um, I'm a fan. I, I like, you know, not all the games I, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> not all the games, uh, like Four Swords. Oh my god, my sword wasn't going there. Four Swords, like the original one. Um, oh, we hit the jackpot here. Oh, except for that one guy. We can blow him up. Four Swords, uh, the original, uh, is not my favorite. Um, but it has some fun multiplayer stuff. Oh, dude. Seriously? Can he just, like, not die? What? What's going on there? This is one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. Um, is it because he's facing the bomb? Yeah, let's go back down. He should be the only one. Okay, dude. You suck. Oh. Yeah, we get bombs back, so it's okay. Um, but I do really like Four Swords Adventures and Triforce Heroes. Here's one of our best dungeon items. The... The raft. <laughs> but that's something I'm glad they've brought back to the Zelda series. <laughs> and yeah, I would support... You know, maybe they should make a... I feel like they could make a new game. You know, like that. Uh, putting the old ones on the service would be cool too. So I'm in favor of that. So. Um... I, I want to say too. Please leave more. Please leave more comments below. Um, more questions, and I'll I'll be answering them in future videos. You know. Uh, infection form. What are your thoughts on the difficulty curve in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild? I feel like it's very similar in both games. I only died in the first twenty percent of my playthrough, and then barely at all after that. Um, assuming the next game follows the same formula, what tweaks could they? do to improve the difficulty curve throughout the mid to late game. Yeah, um... I think I'm like that too, and it I think it really just... It also... It's one of those things where the difficulty is just kind of how much time you put into the games a lot of the time, because you can collect a bunch of stuff or, you know, go straight through it. And so it's... Yeah, you know, there. Anyone who does, honestly, even not a, a lot of the extra stuff, but some of it, is gonna get into it. I don't think we need to go use the key here. So maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> maybe I'll go the other way. So yeah, anyone who puts a decent amount of time into it is okay. Bombs is gonna be pretty. I I get pretty overpowered early on, honestly, too. 
Um, and I don't know, I don't know how much of a... I mean, obviously the game... The game is so much more about the exploration and the... The... The mechanics of traversing around than it is even really about combat. <laughs> even though there is a lot of combat, and what's fun is you can kind of experiment and mess around, but... I guess it doesn't really, yeah, it doesn't really feel like it's, uh, really about difficulty, you know, or... <laughs> it's... It's about creating unique situations where, oh, I'm gonna electrify this guy and freeze this dude and make a contraption to kill this guy. Um, but I, I could see... I could see them, like, upping things, like... Okay, so the one key, we're in the one spot. Oh, I accidentally hit it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we open this locked door. How about that? It definitely did not need to do that. Uh, oh well. Um, I right's the way to go, but let's like see what's up here. You know, or I'm pretty sure right's the way to go. I don't know. We'll explore. Oh, thank you. Well, one of these. Um, but yeah, one thing I think they could do, maybe, is... Did you get the sword from the old man on top of the waterfall? Well, we just did that, fella. Thank you. See, this dungeon actually is probably a lot harder if you haven't done that yet. <laughs> Especially with those dark nuts, you saw that one room, jeez. Um, but yeah, that's a cool thing about this game, is you can... It's... It's cool, it's open-ended. You can find things, or uh, they can give you hints to them. You know, there's... The possibilities are endless. Did this give me anything? This room? <laughs> okay. So yeah, one thing I guess they could do is, in the new games, is maybe up... Give their one more stage of evolution, I guess, from the... From the of the enemies, you know, in color, you know, difficulty level, that might help, and maybe they could even, <laughs> uh, you know, how they had on on master mode, like enemies regain health. Like maybe they could start introducing more enemies later that do that or something, you know. Like <clears throat> it doesn't have to be a lot, but that could be that'd be like a fun. Oh, we got the map. I guess if you go this way, you get the map. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. They could they could definitely up the difficulty in some regards, but um, at the same time, I feel like when I'm doing combat, uh, while it's a lot of fun, like it's probably of, of all the gameplay things, you know, it's I don't know, it's. It's it's not the most fun part of it, though it is it can be really fun, so. <sighs> um I think that's all the questions. Yeah, that's all the questions, but please we're about to go into the boss and oh, and like I said, I think I, I said I was gonna rank the bosses. Um How did I don't even remember how I ranked them in the last one. Should I look that up right now? <laughs> Um, because I didn't write it down. Oh man, this is stupid. I'm gonna write it down for the, for this one. Um, I'm looking right now. Oh, okay. Here's what I did. I put, uh, I put Aquamentus above. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Aquamentus. Alright, I'm gonna write this down after this. Aquament <laughs> Aquamentus over Dodongo. Um, we're about to enter our final uh, room in this dungeon and take on the boss. Uh, Gliok. Oh, man. What a cool boss, right? Don't want to give away its spot on the list. And hey, it's fitting uh, now that Tears of the Kingdom is out. 
Everyone's loving Gliok. He's having a nice resurgence. Oh, stupid bubbles. The bubbles stop you from using your sword, and... That's a bummer. I could have used the beams, I guess. Uh, uh, I don't know. Might need the potion here. We'll see. <laughs> Here's Gliok! Oh, no! <laughs> it's freaking manhandle. What was I thinking? Is Gliak the next boss? Alright. Crap. Here's here's the move. If you can do it. Yeah. Alright. Alright. We took out three of the manhandles. There we go. <laughs> Alright. What a boss. <clears throat> that is a really fun boss, I think, actually. Wow. Alright, we've got three pieces of the Triforce. Let's kill this guy so we're safe. Um, where to rank it, though? <clears throat> um, you know, at this point in the game, because Manhandla also comes back and it grows a little tiresome, but, uh, it's kind of a cool fight at this point in the game. Like, the bombs can make it, uh, easier, as you saw, but it's it's a little bit high risk, you know? So, I, I kind of like it. I, I do kind of like it. Um, would it be... Hmm. <clears throat> you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank it... Uh, this is probably different than when we did it in the one video back in the day, but I think I'm gonna rank it at number one right now. Um, simply because, like, yeah, it feels like a nice step up in difficulty, you know? Um, it's moving around the screen, it's, it's more likely to hit you. Obviously, I'm a little powered up here, so, you know, it made it a little bit easier, and I, and I knew the strategy with the bombs, but if you're just going in there with your basic stuff, you know, without the ring, without the sword, and you're trying to just chop away at the things, like, it's even harder, you know? And I, f and I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like it's a nice step up in challenge, even with the stuff, obviously, like, I think I took more hits, probably, than against Aquamentus, who's kind of more stationary, and you just gotta dodge the one set of, pro or the three projectiles that come out, you know, in one burst, so, yeah, I'll, let's do that. I'm gonna write this down now, too. So, Manhandla, Aquamentus, Dodongo. That's the list. Um, again, please leave more questions. Uh, that's, that's the key with these videos, is that it gives me an opportunity to see what you were all saying and kind of, you know, communicate back with you. Because some, sometimes I... I uh, missed the opportunity in certain videos, so this is this is really nice for me. So yeah, with that, um, you know, Jul uh, July I'm gonna be really busy with the Zelda Dungeon Marathon, so please go look that, have a look, watch that. It's gonna be a fun week, um, and yeah, I'll see everybody in the next video.